I'm Adam Richman from Surviving Rock, Oklahoma, and I am joined by none other than the most elusive guys in northeastern Oklahoma, northwest Arkansas, A Rock. What is up, fellas? What's How up? You doing? Hello, everybody. I'm glad to. Uh, thank you guys so much for inviting me out to uh, uh, record and uh, be a part of your rehearsal, and thanks for sitting down with me. Um, now, you guys will just go ahead and start from the beginning. Uh, you, the story of A-Rock is almost like a rock and roll phoenix. You guys just kind of rose from the ashes of a past project. Can you tell me a little bit about the genesis of A-Rock? Well, um, it started, me and JC, we were in the band Reliance Code, and towards the end of that band, we were slowing down to where we were playing the show maybe once every two months. And we were talking about, hey, let's get together and we'll go do some covers just for fun, see who wants to be involved. And so we started jamming just at my house and then sometimes at his house. And we would get together and just, uh, he was teaching me a lot of these older classic rock songs. And we were saying, you know, we want to play stuff that people enjoy. We want to give people the hits, give them what they want, you know, instead of covering vague deep cuts we're, we're giving people the radio hits you know <laughs> and having a lot of fun doing it so that's. i i saw you guys for the first time last year at your uh, your rock the equinox which by the way is coming up august 14th correct yes august 14th and 15th so uh if you guys like what you're about to see um you you definitely want to make sure you come out to stigler oklahoma for rock the equinox August 14th, it's uh, 15th, it's two days 14th this year, right? 14th and 15th, we're graduating to a two-day festival. It's totally open, free to the public. It's um, For that weekend, the city of Stigler gives us access to the lake, and they waive camping fees. So everybody can come in, camp, swim, enjoy rock and roll, totally free. Um, no glass bottles, but other than that, you know, you can bring your own food, bring your own drinks. It's a kid-friendly event, um, you know, don't come there thinking you can get Rocklahoma drunk and walk around because <laughs> there are cops going to be a present, um, but um, it's a really cool event. We've got some really good bands, We've got Fist of Rage, they're a Rocklahoma band, um, right. Perseus, um, I mean, I don't want to try and rattle off all of them because I'm sure I'll forget one, <laughs> but uh, there's uh, Miss Misery and... Um, Next Halen, the Van Halen tribute band from the Oklahoma City area. Final They're really good. The Destination. The destination, not Final Destination. Group of young kids <laughs> out of Stigler. They're, they're going to be seniors in high school, and they've been a band for three, four years. They're really good, really talented. And Outlaw Devils. Um, Claim Your Enemy. Um, 357. Doxy. Uh, yeah, like wow. I said... I don't want to try and rattle off all of them. Just look it up, Rock the Equinox in Stigler, Oklahoma. we got a Facebook page. You'll find all the info you need there. I will say one of my favorite moments last year watching you guys perform was Purple Rain. I mean, you guys absolutely killed it. Thank you. And uh, I'm not – okay, yeah, I'm a bit of a softy. So I teared <laughs> up a little bit. You guys had you, – you, uh, you guys definitely got some soul. Is there anything that you guys – in a rock are trying to do that's very different from reliance code so like uh trying to differentiate yourself and be your own your own the the number one thing like we kind of got i would say we took ourselves too seriously in reliance loosened code. up we wanted this band to be not serious at all <laughs> so i like everybody was telling me hey you need to create a facebook page so we can follow this and um so I just took a Sharpie and I scribbled on a white piece of paper, A-Rock, and I put the hashtag, better logo coming soon. And everybody got a kick out of it, you know, because we, we, we don't take ourselves seriously. We, we're not recording anything. We don't really, we've got some shirts, but we don't show up selling merch at our shows. So I didn't want to have to stress about recording new music, trying to get it on the radio, trying to do tons of interviews with uh, people. We're, we, we love you. We, we want to do this, man. We appreciate this. But uh, we didn't want to take ourselves seriously. That was the number one thing. We, we want to just have fun, be a band that you know you're going to hear good songs, 
you're going to have a lot of fun. The people up on stage are going to be having fun, and that's, that's all, what it's all about. That's that's kind of what I was getting at earlier because I, the hustle that you guys were putting forth before, and then now you guys are like Bigfoot. I mean, you guys are elusive. <laughs> we know you're out there, and we, we see a show every great once in a while come up on Facebook, but if you're like actually searching for you guys, you guys are a little hard to find, and that's not necessarily a bad thing. You guys are like a, a Northwest Arkansas, Northeast Oklahoma's just best kept secret. I mean, you guys see, um, does that translate to the music for you guys, for writing your original material and as well as doing your covers or anything? I mean, we're, we want eventually to work on some originals. I mean, we we worked on uh, one of Josh's songs that he wrote, and I kind of put a chord progression to it, and he's got a few more songs we wrote. But we we would like to do more uh, more originals in the near future. Well, that's, that's awesome. And so every, it's on the tip of everybody's tongues. Everybody's talking about COVID. And uh, did that really, since you guys are a little bit more laid back and everything, did that really throw any gears in the, any wrenches in the gears for you guys the last couple of months? Yeah, you know, we, we didn't rehearse. We took a big break. We, fortunately, we were planning on taking a break anyway because JC just had a new baby. And we were wanting to give him time with his new baby. And so we didn't have any shows scheduled. And then whenever COVID hit, there was no sense booking anything. Right. So even to this point right now, we're not really trying real hard to book anything. We usually have a few shows come to us. Um, and so, I mean, it did affect us. We, we were really probably only have two shows left in the future right now. Wow. Um, so hey, anybody wants to book a uh, A Rock, we're available. <laughs> and they got a logo now. Yeah, yeah, we got a logo now. <laughs> a logo, a legit logo. Um, so y- tell me, what y- what are you guys working on right now? You guys got an album coming out? You got some singles coming up, or just? Uh, you know, like I said, we didn't really want to do any recordings. I, me personally, like I just did, felt like I didn't want to get on that hamster wheel again. Uh-huh. I put so much into the last band. And I was the one doing like everything on the internet, all the social media, all the booking. And it's like the last thing I wanted to do was just jump right back on the merry-go-round. Sure. So I needed time to just do what we've been doing. Yeah. And this has been cathartic to me. And I've grown as a musician way tons in the last couple of years doing this. than I did four or five years of the last band because all we did was maybe 13 songs for four right. years. I mean, it got old. <laughs> I, I can imagine. And um, I, I, I wasn't blessed with the thing they call musical talent. I can push play and I can talk to a microphone. But I have to think, um, even doing podcasting and stuff, the more you pressure you put on yourself to make it into a business and make money off of it, it seems like it takes away the, from the joy of what you're doing so yeah. you, you said you've uh, you've progressed as a musician is it like are you find starting to rekindle and refine the fun that's in the uh, from it now that you have no pressure on yourself definitely definitely um, I'll find myself staying up late because I'm sitting there learning a new riff mm-hmm. and there's an excitement to it and uh, when, when I get something down you know there's a pride to it and being able to tackle songs that three years ago I couldn't touch Um, so yeah I mean it's I'm getting I don't know what you would call it but yeah yeah, it's it's a lot more fun what I've been doing this so that's awesome when we get ready to do some originals I think I'll have a lot more tools in my bag that's always good now uh, do you you guys do a lot of covers where where, what goes into your selection process whenever you decide you know what I want to put my spin on this <laughs> nah, I'm joking. Go ahead. Uh, I mean, when we select, honestly, we just name out a song and uh, we'll see if we can do it. And if we can't, we can't. But we'll do our best to do it. It's like, uh, well, you mentioned Purple Rain. Purple right. Rain. Purple Rain. It it might sound slow and easy, but it's actually harder than what people think. It's a hard song. Sure. 
pull we up. We practice you know? it every practice. Every practice. If we don't rehearse it every practice, we will screw it up. <laughs> and and <laughs> it's that it, you have to do it that good with it, or mm -hmm. it's not going to sound good. Right. Yep. And we've played it bad before a couple of times, and it's yep. not fun. And uh, um, we like we like to put a lot of variety in there. You know, we put CCR, Black Sabbath, to Prince, to Megadeth. Well, I mean, we. Yeah. We try to play. If we think JC can sing it, we'll try it and we'll <laughs> see what he can do. And if he can sing it, great. If not, if, if it's going to strain his voice, why well, risk it? Sure. We'll go on to the next song. There's a bunch of other songs out there. And so that's kind of been what we've done. We just pick songs we like and think other people might like, you know. So, uh, as the pulse of the band, do you have any favorites that you guys that you like to play? Uh, I like the Megadeth we do, I like the Stone Temple Pilot, I like everything we do because it's a big variety from sure. going back to the 60s all the way up to, you know, I was playing Megadeth and stuff back in the 80s, so it's a little bit of everything. Well, that's awesome. Well, thanks again once again, guys. Before we wrap it up and let you guys do your thing, you guys got any uh, anything coming up or any shout outs or any uh, anything you want to, uh, any final words? Well, we got um, Rock the Equinox coming up. That's a big one. Again, August 14th, 15th. Um, that's pretty much it. Um, I think we're ready to start doing some originals, so keep an eye out for that. We've got means right here in this room to record it ourselves. So um, I think that's going to be on the horizon. And I'm excited. We got some good stuff. Uh, hopefully other people like it too. Uh, I'd like to give a shout out to Lori and Tammy. They're two of our biggest supporters. Of course, JC's wife and Jimmy's wife. I mean, we couldn't do it any any of this without our family. And thanks to everybody that's ever came to an A Rock show. Forget Darren. Even Darren. <laughs> Even Darren. Even Darren. Even Darren. <laughs> All righty, guys. Well, thank you guys so much for sitting down with me. And uh, once again, folks, you guys have got to get on Facebook. Check out A Rock. It. I'm not going to say if you like what you hear. When you experience these guys and you want to see them live and in person, join us August 14th, Stigler, Oklahoma, Lake John Wells, correct? Yes, that's correct. Rock the Equinox. We're the 15th. And, and we're on the 15th. 14th and 15th. You guys are playing on the 15th. And if anybody, uh, if you're ever trying to tag our band, you have to type in the at symbol, capital A-R-O-K, -K, and then hit the space button. And Usually it should hit a, a pop up, but it's only after you hit the space button. <laughs> Facebook, we're like, we're Bigfoot and we're elusive. <laughs> you gotta do a certain code to reach us. What's that awesome. Where? <laughs> All right, <14. guys. laughs> So come out, camp with us, and I understand we're going to have a bouncy house. Oh yeah, there's there going to be a bouncy well. house. There's so, going to be all three admins of Rocklahoma Central. There we go. Uh, so it's free show, guys. You have no excuse. Bring the kids. Come swim. Come camp. Come rock out. And uh, come bounce around and stuff. So uh, thank you guys so much. Check this out on YouTube. Also, be sure to hit that like and subscribe button. And also, be sure you head on over to A Rock's Facebook page and uh, give them a follow so you see what's going on as they announce it. And uh, for me, or for A Rock, I'm Adam, and this has been Surviving Rock, Oklahoma.